all the countries in which there are predominantly white people are larger than those in the southern part of the, of the world. You have children going to school and they're seeing this map. Right. They're seeing a distortion yeah. of size, of shape, of location, of importance. In order to use this map at all, you have to take this piece, this piece off here, and put it over here. And now you see, the United States is no longer in the middle of the map. Right. Now I did this with a major record company in New York City, I think in 1970. And an older man stood up in the back of the room and said, now Elliot, you've gone too far. I said, what's your problem? You can't do that with the map. I said, well, actually you can. He said, no, the United States isn't in the middle of the map anymore. I said, the United States never was in the middle of the map. You need to realize this depends on how you draw your map. And then I pointed this little fact out. South America is actually nine times larger than Greenland. Even though it doesn't really look like it. No, it is. <laughs> South America is actually nine times larger than Greenland. It's crazy. Now, according to your social studies teachers, what is the equator? Halfway between the North Pole and the South Pole on this map would be right about here. Right. And that means that Iowa has a semi-tropical climate. <laughs> well, you've been in Minnesota in the winter time. I've been in Iowa too. It's definitely you know that that's, it doesn't have a tropical climate. So you have to then introduce a real version of the map of the world. I think this is the one. That's very good. The Peter's Projection Map. The sizes on this map are right. Hmm. The shapes are distorted. Wow. Look at Greenland on this map. Right there, see it? Yeah, it's really tiny. See how small that is? Right. Look at it on the Mercator Projection. So why do they do that? I don't understand. Why? Because the Pope commissioned Mercator to map, to make a map that shows the spread of Christianity. So all the countries in which there are predominantly white people are larger than those in the southern part of the, of the world. Halfway between the North Pole and South Pole. Mm -hmm. Now, if you, get, if you have children going to school and they're seeing this map, right. they're seeing a distortion yeah. of size, of shape, of location, of importance. If they're looking at this map, they're seeing a distorted, shaped distorted, but size and location and importance makes sense. This makes no sense. Yeah. On that map, Alaska is bigger than Mexico. On this map, Mexico yeah. is bigger than Alaska. And look at the look at, at Canada on this map. Look at that thing. That much is map. Look at Canada on a properly constructed map. Hmm. Yeah. Do you yeah. think that's important? It's a world of difference, actually. A world of difference. That's a good. That's a good thought. Look at there. Look at South America, and compare it to Greenland on this map. Right. It's almost like we're teaching kids that we're bigger, we're better. That's right. You know. That's right. That's exactly what this map. That's exactly what this map is supposed to do. Right. What we have in this country and call education is indoctrination. Mm -hmm. We start from, now we start at three, we used to start at five. From the northernmost point of Canada to the southernmost point of South America, all the people in here are Americans. Mm -hmm. North Americans, Central Americans, South Americans. These are all Americans. Mm -hmm. you, can't, you can't put up a wall to keep Americans out because we're all Americans.